Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and this is the Zizo Air Commando D45SS. A representative from Zizo contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in doing a review on one of their watches, and this is the one I chose. There's a there's a different colored version of this watch of the Air Commando, but I chose this silvery one because it spoke to me more, and I got in the mail and I checked it out, and uh, and uh, here it is. So uh, before we get into uh, the stuff there let me let me just talk about the Zizo company they actually have prepared a little thing for me and uh, uh, just for my information but I'm gonna read it verbatim because I'm super lazy so anyway in the super movie voice Zizo has been making watches since 2001 over the years produced more than 30 different models ranging from simple ETA automatic movements to Valjoux 7751 and 7754 chrono series. I think that's how you say uh, Valjoux. I'm not sure. Correct me somebody if I'm wrong. Zizo sells their watches directly to the public and Zizo watches are sold from their website and by Amazon overstock in the USA as well as internationally. Occasionally Zizo advertises in in national magazines like Car and Driver, Auto Week, Forbes Life, and others. Zizo also sells luxury pens and sunglasses. Each product is made in a limited edition and individually numbered. So I didn't have to do anything there. Got that over with. We're good. <laughs> so my first uh, impression of this watch, to be honest, guys, didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. And uh, was not looking forward to doing this review because I don't like to give negative reviews. But I, I told the guys at Zizo straight up that I'm going to be honest and no bull crap. If there's stuff I don't like or if there's stuff that's wrong, I will fully highlight that. But I will also highlight things that I do like. That being said, over the course of a few days... Uh, it grew on me and now that has changed I really like it now but I there's still some things but but it grew on me very much so <laughs> so anyway this uh, let's get to the whatever let's get to the, the shebang here so anyway the case is 316 L stainless steel which is really good and uh, it's polished as well as brushed it's very well done the polishing is very clean and uh, the brushing is very satiny, very well done. And there are nice angular cuts around the lugs, and I really, really like that. I really like it when lugs are cut like that. Uh, the 12, the 10 o'clock position has a adjustable inner bezel, or chapter ring, some people like to call it, which is probably correct, which you can use to set a secondary time zone, and that's kind of handy. So. Uh, does it bother me? No. Do I like it? No. Do I care about it? No. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. But quite frankly, if it didn't exist, uh, the watch would look a hell of a lot cleaner. But it doesn't bother me one bit. So um, the matte silver bezel aligns perfectly. This this 120 click unidirectional bezel aligns perfectly, and I love that. The numbers are raised, diamond cut. And they reflect blue. I don't know if you can see that, but they reflect blue. And uh, they have a they have a their own uh, font style. Well, I don't know if it's their own font style, but most diver watches will uh, will, have, will have kind of a plain font. But this is a little bit more stylized. This watch is designed for style first and function later. So uh, form uh, following function. But they did not skimp on the durability and and may uh, and uh, you know the, the my things turned off the durability and the craftsmanship of this watch because it's very well made, very well made, very very well done watch. So the clicking sensation is that's pretty good. It's about a it's about a medium plus. I don't even know what that means, but that's a medium plus click. It's very taut, but not overwhelmingly so it doesn't give me problems clicking it away and I'll just align that for you guys there you go nice and aligned sweet 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 let's see what else is next here Ooh. okay the front is covered by a three millimeter blue anti-reflective coated flat sapphire crystal which in many lighting situations can complement the blue accents around the 12 3 6 and 9 o'clock markers as well as the hands uh, 
uh, the the AR coating is on the inside of the crystal as per usual, and uh, it does. Uh, you can't really see it. Oh, you can see it, but uh, in the beauty shot later, you'll probably be able to see the AR coating a lot better. Uh, the silver dial is patterned very nicely. I don't know if you can see that. Very nicely patterned silver dial, and uh, it's not too much. The pattern isn't too much. Not too little. I think it's. I think it's done just right. Sometimes uh, manufacturers will do a little bit too much patterns, a little too much uh, guilloche, guilloche. I think it's guilloche on their dials. But this is this is good. This is well done, and uh, makes it makes me kind of it makes me kind of happy. So you'll see it on the the dial that you that says unite for good, and what that. Why that's there is that the, some of the proceeds for the sale of this watch will go to, go to the Unite for Good Foundation, which I'm not going to get into. If you want to learn about that, search on Google for Unite for Good. I'm not going to get into charities and, and political stuff on my watch channel ever, so that's that. <laughs> but um, it does add some stuff to the dial. The dial is a little bit busy. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. All kinds of stuff going on there on the dial, but it's all laid out pretty well and the date window is in a great position and it's all it's all pretty good I really like it the uh, the case back is a screw down case back displaying through the mineral glass the citizen Miyota 9015 movement which is a really darn good movement and Zizo has their custom rotor on that movement as you can see there and uh, as you, some of you know, the Zizo, uh, excuse me, <laughs> the Citizen 9015 movement is a uh, 28,800 BPS movement, employs 24 joules, has a power reserve of approximately 42 hours, has a daily accuracy uh, about minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day. The 9015 is also made in Japan and uh, is an excellent movement, excellent, excellent movement. It's very, very smooth. You can see that, uh, that second hand just very smoothly chugging along there very nicely done and uh, what else the crown is a screw down crown type to help ensure the 200 meter water resistance so you can actually go diving with this watch it's not ISO certified not that I'm aware of but uh, I, I would be okay with swimming with this watch and going like snorkeling and stuff I probably wouldn't actually go diving but uh, I wouldn't doubt if it actually handles it you know it's probably uh, probably okay <laughs> and uh, yeah, both the crowns, by the way, are signed. The Zizo logo on that side, as well as this side. It's very well done polishing. Everything is done. The even the bezel. This whole watch just sparkles. <laughs> In the right lighting, it just sparkles. Um, let's see. Looking at my list of justice here. The bracelet, the bracelet is probably my favorite part about this whole thing. The bracelet is very, very well done. And like I said, in the right lighting, this whole thing just super shimmers and sparkles. If you like shimmery, shimmery watches like I do, this one will, will, will be delightful and very, uh, very uh, multi-pointed lighting situations. Like, for example, if you go to Costco, uh, Costco will have like, or any big large store with lots of overhead lighting. It's multi points of light. It'll just hit this watch from every angle. This thing will just be shimmering, but not too much. You know, just little things like around the bezel will just be shimmering, like sparkling. The uh the links, the brush, the links will be shimmering. The uh the linkage between the links are polished, so they'll be sparkling. So sparkling and shimmering. Sparkling and shimmering dot com is what you're gonna get when you wear this watch so it's a very very bling bling watch and I'm okay with that I love bling bling watches <laughs> but I also love subdued watches it depends how I feel you know sometimes I want a super shimmery shiny watch sometimes I want to wear something very subdued it just depends on my mood and if I was in the mood for shimmery shimmery shiny this is something I would go for the bracelet is solid solid links solid end links very very nicely done the sides are polished it's a typical push through sizing technique the the uh, buckle system is all nicely polished and it's got the uh, safety class and it's just it's just really really good this watch is it's, it has it all you know it's not 
It's not uh, a cheapy Me Too, you know, clone watch that gets stamped out by a Chinese manufacturer and you put your name on it. These, these guys spend a lot of time designing and making this watch. That's something that only they would have. And while it might might not be for everybody, I really, I really like it. I, I, I really respect it. And uh, this watch does have some size to it. So let me get to the measurements here. Uh, the case is 45 millimeters, not including the crown. It is 54 millimeters long, lug to lug, 13 millimeters thick, and uh, has a, uh, a lug lug width of 22 millimeters. My favorite lug width. It's also 224 grams. And let me try it on for you. So, I'll show you what I mean. But it's a big watch, and uh, it's a it's a big beast. So there it is on my small toothpick wrist. There it is. So it's like, uh, it's it's massive. It's bigger than my Seiko Monster. It's bigger than the Turtle. But uh, <laughs> it looks a lot bigger in the camera vision than on my, my eyeball vision because it's closer. But one of the things I really appreciate, appreciate about this watch is the lugs are curved. You see that? The lugs are curved down. And I really appreciate that. It makes it so the watch is comfortable and uh, it, re it really helps to make a look of not being so big. It's big, don't, you know, no qualms about it. It's big, but it, it at least there's the, the, the curved doll log. So guys with slightly bigger wrists than mine will probably uh, wear this better. Uh, obviously, <laughs> duh, yeah, no they won't, no, they suck. But my wrist is six and a half inches and uh, it'll probably be really nice on a larger guy's wrist. So you larger guys out there, if you want looking for a really nice dressy bling bling watch that you can actually take diving and beat up without worrying about every, anything getting screwed up, this is a this is an interesting watch for sure. So let's check out the loom. Let's check out the loom. I'm gonna check out the loom here. And ow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on a, a little watch sofa. That's my, that's my term. Don't steal it. Watch sofa. Get on there. Get on there and, and get, get your feet, get your feet up. Relax, relax on there, you little guy. Get on the watch sofa. And I'm going to compare it against the uh, Orient Mako USA 2 on a NATO strap. And this is, this is one really seriously good watch for, for, for Loom. And then I'm going to adjust my ISO setting to better reflect what I'm seeing with my face vision. And use my XTAR R30 super badass LED light. And then we're just gonna turn off all the lights here. Yep, that is basically what I'm seeing with my uh, my face vision. And we're gonna give it a little light, give it a little light, give it a little love, give it a little love, give it a love. I'm blinding myself with science. And done. So there you go. Initially, very good. Initially, very good. The, the Zizo on the left, the Orient Mako Mako USA 2 on the right. So the Zizo uses Swiss Luminova and the Mako USA uses the Nemoto Luminova, which I guess it means, I guess basically Japanese Lum. So you're not gonna, you obviously see that the Zizo is is succumbing to the sheer willpower of the Orient, but uh, it's it's to be expected. The surface area is a lot smaller on each on each item, and uh, yeah, it's not made for loom. Just uh, <laughs> like, I, like I said before, it's made for fashion first, function second, but still a great watch. And uh, really, some really interesting things about this uh, this this. This watch that it comes with it comes with it comes with instructions on how to freaking size the dang bracelet and I really appreciate that. It's a uh, you know it it just it's kind of just it kind of just tells you or shows you what you need to do and it, it tells you about the power reserve that you need to wind the crown 40 times to achieve full full power reserve. Uh, uh, which I did. I I wrote. I wound it 40 times, uh, and uh, you know, it's just this is a nice touch. This is a nice touch. It has a giant manual <laughs> uh, with everything you need to know, 
and it, and I, I hate doing this because I hate showing boxes it comes in a pretty cool box it comes in a transformer box <laughs> you know it comes in a nice display box trans transformer style and I appreciate that do I need it or require it in a watch no I don't uh, I have some really nice watches that have come with much lesser boxes but uh, I appreciate the box it's extremely nice so <laughs> uh, Zizo. what what are you doing to me what are you doing to me guys all right so my final thoughts how do I feel about it? Well, at first, especially because of size, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. The size immediately put me off. Even though I knew it's the size that I was getting uh, before I even got it. When I opened it, I was like, dang, that's just way too big for me. It's not the watch's fault. It's just because I was born with the toothpick, chopstick, genetics wrist that we used to eat noodles with. So that put me off. And... Um, but um, <laughs> it just it just kind of grew on me as a watch. I I I like it. It's I like weird. I like weird stuff. It's kind of weird. It's kind of shiny. It's super shiny. I really like shiny shiny, and it's well made with a great movement. Sapphire crystal. Everything you need and want in a watch, and some stuff you might not might not need like this this, uh, this dual time zone thing, which is too kind of unnecessary in my opinion. But it's there. It doesn't bother me. And especially that bracelet though, gosh, this bracelet, you could tell they spent a lot of time uh, or a lot of a lot of effort on this bracelet. Uh, it's really, really nice. I really like it. So uh, Zizo has, uh, without asking me, without, uh, without uh, you know, I didn't ask them to do this, but uh, if you want to order this watch from their website, they will give you a discount. A really good discount uh, if you put Minute Watch 20 in the promotion code area, all lowercase, Minute Watch 20, and you'll get a hefty discount off this exact watch, none of the other ones. And they also sell it on Amazon.com, so you can also do that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my review. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Mm.